Dr. Uh, Blake Ambridge. I am here at Santa Rosa Chiropractic Neurology Center and I have just a moment to give you a few tips about brain inflammation. I'd like to address that topic because it is rampant uh, in our society today and I find it daily in my practice. So as a chiropractic neurologist and a functional endocrinologist and neurologist, I um, work with neuro nervous systems that often are less than ideal. Some people present with pain, etc. Others present with vertigo, uh, difficulty concentrating, their memory may be depleted, they may have movement disorders. In many of these cases, they are complicated by brain inflammatory responses, which I have to uh, discover. So I want to give you a few tips. So what is brain inflammation? Some of the signs that people will have often with brain inflammation uh, are brain fog. They haze or phase out in their focus or concentration. They may zone out. Um, they will have an inability to retain the thought that they initially had. They may go to a room and forget where they were going. They may be in a conversation and not be able to recall the sentence they were uh, attempting to complete or the question they wanted to ask. Also, people will get fatigue. They'll find themselves fatigued most of the time or many uh, moments in the day. They might get tired after they eat. They may have bloating. They may have GI symptoms, uh, difficulty digesting, etc. They might find that their GI system is sensitive if they get upset or if they're stressed or frustrated. There are many conditions uh, which your family doctor may reference which often are related to these things. So what do you do about that? <clears throat> Uh, there, there are many things that can help that, but first you have to identify what is the culprit or the cause of such a problem. Brain inflammation comes because there are immune responders that reach the brain when they really shouldn't, and they cause chemical changes which disconnect or create a breakdown in, in the systems of the central nervous system. Often that's an immune response. Also, you can have chemical imbalances. It could be simple blood sugar disorders, or it could be um, a thyroid disorder or an anemia. If your fuel supply and substrates are not adequate, your brain will suffer. It's very sensitive. On the other hand, uh, you have foods that create immune reactivity, and so you need to identify those. So I'm going to tell you that one of the best things you can do is eat well and exercise. When I say eat well, I'm suggesting that you eat a non-inflammatory diet. And you can search on the internet, there's lots of books out there, and there are differing opinions, but essentially there are certain foods that are very inflammatory. Grains, dairy, I, uh, heated oils, nightshades, some of these are inflammatory foods to many people. There are ways to identify the foods that may be causing an inflammatory response. That does require a practitioner that knows how to discern them and how to get the tests. However, I am going to suggest that you eat well, a non-inflammatory diet, that you treat your GI system well, meaning that you don't overload it, you don't live on sugars, you may use probiotics, you may use some nutritional uh, supplementation to keep your gut in a healthy uh, state. So I hope you have learned something today. I hope you can identify a little bit about brain inflammation. You, I'm certain, know someone who has it, and you may be a source of their um, improvement and quality of life. So have a great day.